Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I brought a knife to a gunfight. Why am I saying this? It is the worst days for wind here in South Africa and I brought a pellet gun today and not a slug gun. Well, there's one good reason for this is because it's such an awesome gun and I can't keep it locked up anymore. I have to shoot it. So, let's kick some butt with pellets in this wind. Ah, smoked him. Another one. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's nice to shoot pellets for a change. Hey, let's go. Some more. <laughs> Love it. Gee whiz, there's a lot here, eh? Damn! This gun is a laser beam! So I can stand here and shoot house sparrows the whole day. There's a lot of them here, but I'm after some starlings and some pigeons and I haven't shot a pigeon in a long time and uh, getting some withdrawal symptoms. <laughs> I have to shoot the pigeon somewhere today. So let's take a drive and look, let's look for some bigger birds to shoot. Yes! <laughs> Finally, I got a pigeon! Right in the neck and he went down like a sack of potatoes and a very nice and looking, healthy looking pigeon this. So I'm going to take this one back home to cook up. Perfect shot, awesome. 30 yards. He's finding it difficult to hold on as well. Oh, ho, ho, ho. booyah! <laughs> 56 yards. Had to hold two mils over for the wind there. Crazy stuff. Okay, I see a pigeon on the ground there, so let's see if I can take a shot. Gotcha! <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. There we go. This is a nice big feral pigeon. For the guys who's waiting for the technical data on my gun, stay tuned because at the end of this video, I'm going to put a segment in there where I'm going to speak about this gun. So don't miss out because I'm going to share some tips and secrets about this gun. <laughs> Take a swim. <laughs> Pigeon drinking some water. Knocked him from the back. Right into the water bowl. <laughs> oh, there's some starlings as well. Let's take a couple of shots and then. Oh, right in the clockwork. 
50 yards. This gun is a laser beam. That is solid. That is a solid. 50 yards. Wow. Just shot my nemesis, a white bite starling. This day is turning out to be one of the best days ever. Awesome. So this is what a good chassis must do. When you put it up on an obstacle, it needs to lay dead still and it needs to be balanced out. And like you guys can see here, this chassis is doing just that. Ooh, right in the clockwork. Nice, 50 yards. Smoked him. Stay down. <laughs> Always a little chuckle if the pellet hits the starling or whatever you hit just disappears quickly. <laughs> and when it's a slug, it usually has a big explosion. You still see feathers and all those kind of things go in the air, but. Uh, but the pellet is such is so non-violent, but it's actually awesome. I, I missed I missed shooting pellets. Ah smoked him. Welcome back to my house. It's time to do today's gun segment and the gun segment is about the gun I'm using in today's video. So let's start off with the gun model and it is the FX Dreamline Tactical in a Sabre Tactical chassis. I just want to tell you guys one thing. This gun model is still the 2019 version and does not have the latest upgrades from the latest FX Dreamlines. So the tune for this gun is not a standard tune. So you guys need to listen up to what I'm about to say. I did add some aftermarket parts to this gun and that will include a pin probe, a high flow dual transfer port and a power plenum from FX. The barrel I'm using is a 500 millimeter standard barrel but I've added a new superior liner inside. With that liner I can shoot now pellets and lightweight slugs. Looking at the settings for this gun starting with the hammer spring, my hammer spring wheel is maxed out and I did max out my hammer spring adjuster screw as well. That is very important and a lot of guys miss that and that's why they don't get the same power levels as what we do. The second thing, the regulator is set at 110 bar and then my transfer port or shall we call it the power adjuster port is opened up to the fullest on 2530. For ammunition I am using a 18.13 grain JSB pellet and I'm shooting it at 906 feet Per second average that gives me about 33 foot pounds at the muzzle for shot count i'm getting 50 good clean shots on one fill at this moment for accessories in this gun let's start from the top with my scope and this is the element helix scope i'm using this version is the second focal plane and it is a mrad scope with the apr1c reticle very nice scope for the price point you're going to get this in Moving to the front, I've got a Donny FL Tatsu silencer, which keeps things very quiet outside in the field. Now, when you talk about Donny, you need to talk about Sabre Tactical, which brings me to this beautiful chassis. This chassis brings a lot of extra features to this gun, like an adjustable buttstock, adjustable cheek riser, a bag rider at the bottom, and then obviously one of their favorites, the Arca Swiss rail in the front. The last two accessories on this gun is this Accutec bipod in the front, 
and then this vertical grip here in the back, which I love. I put my vertical grips on all my guns these days. That's it for today's gun segment, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's go back to the action now and let's go finish off today's hunt. <laughs> awesome stuff, 65 yards. He just fell over. <laughs> he didn't even move, he just dropped over. Nice one, 45 yards. Ooh, that's center of mass. Center of mass. Love it. This Helix is a real nice little scope. This is the second focal plane I'm using today. And it's just so awesome. Just listen to this clicks. I don't know if my mic will pick that up, but just listen to that. And I mean, it's dead on, dead on, dead on. <laughs> Another one down, 50 yards. Let's have a look. <laughs> There you go, there's one, there's another one, there's a pigeon I shot, still floaty, just gonna take that one out, there we go, <laughs> here we go, another two, <laughs> oh my word, <laughs> look at them, it's like a trail, there's another one, there's another one, Here's another two. <laughs> Good job. Very happy with that. And that is basically where I'm going to end it for this week. I want to thank you all for watching this video. Thanks for the support. And remember to subscribe. And I'll see you next week. Cheers.